What's up? How's it going? How's life? Yeah. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Hello, everybody! I am the Lightning Turk, and welcome back to another Supremacy 1914 game. Holy fucking shit. I think my voice just cracked. Like, ow, my voice box. Ow, my inner organs. Um, yo, what's up? How's it going? How's life? Um, I'm back. Yeah, after a while, after a much-deserved break, a nice little vacation of like three to four months, I'm, I've am i returned, and I'll be making videos, because, <laughs> you know, why the fuck not? Do I have anything better to do? No, I don't. Um, yeah, so, what of RPing, you ask, or you don't ask, you don't have to ask, but it's all good. Um, I'll be making new videos, including RPs and non-RPs, so uh, as the first non-RP video, this will be... Uh, the Ar Arabian campaign, which has actually already started. What day are we even on? Uh, day 7. So it's been a week since this game started, and that's actually good because I plan to upload videos, you know, weekly uh, or bi-weekly as things progress. But yeah, this will be my first um, series of videos after my little vacation. <laughs> and aside from that, I'll be making RP videos, three specifically. Uh, first RP video will be Age of Redemption, the 500 player map uh, made by War City Driver. Yes, you, I love you, you're freaking awesome, bro. Um, the second map will be the 1860 map, which is essentially a map that I made one to two years ago, a roleplay round on uh, the 30 player map that, you know, I want to bring back to life and just have fun and be bored, like, not boring, <laughs> be boring. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm not used to this, so enjoy. But um, aside from that, the third map, the third round, pretty much that I'll be making videos of, will be on Call of War, and that'll be the um, what's it called? I'm gonna call it the 2000 RP because it's pretty much just the new millennium RP, and that's gonna be on the hundred player world map, which will be freaking incredible, which has already gone on for a while, but you know I just. Wanted to throw my hat in the ring, as I always like to do. <laughs> um, but enough of me babbling. Let's get into the round, shall we? So, uh, so far I did the relatively classic Arabian start of, you know, just building things, going for Syria, and going south right into uh, Egypt. Well, south west to be exact. Uh, it was pretty much a breeze to take Port Said, Cairo, you know... Fayum, Fayum, Baramia, and Alexandria, because uh, I'm not going to pronounce that in, yeah. Um, pretty much what happened was, in the beginning, it was me, a newbie as Egypt, and a newbie as the Ottoman Empire, and the Ottoman Empire threw a message at me, and he said, you know, you want to be friends? And I said, yeah, why not? So we devised a plan to split I not Iraq, <laughs> To split Syria, because Turks want Syria always. Um, he wanted Beirut and Palmyra. I wanted Talafar and Dimashk, or Dama, or you know whatever you call it, Damascus, more correctly. Uh, however, he went inactive, and what he did was before going inactive, he declared war on Syria, went for it. He declared war on uh, Bulgaria, went for that, and then declared war on the Caucasus and went for that. Which is really not a good thing to do if you're a new player. Just I advise you to not declare war on multiple nations and go for them at the same time. Because that would be very, very bad. Considering that's two AIs and an active player which could eradicate you if he felt like it. And, you know, sure enough, he the new player went inactive. And then the Caucasus just started gobbling up territory. So what I did was, since there were two prov well, one province of... Syria that was up for grabs, I sort of just snagged it, and then I looked to my west, and there was Egypt, which, interestingly enough, put all of his armies onto the sea, and went for Greece. I don't know why. Was he Greek? Maybe. Did he have a thing against Greeks? Was he Turkish? I will never know. And, you know, since I saw the opportunity, I just went for it, and I took these five provinces. However, the person next to me, uh, East Libya, also took the initiative and took captured five provinces over here. Um, I sent him a message, but I've gotten no response so far, so I can only assume that he's trying to kill me, <laughs> which I have responded accordingly. To which I have responded accordingly. And, you know, 
aside from that, in terms of economy, the Arabian economy is pretty damn good. Uh, in the beginning, you start off with an, a food issue, which pretty much every nation starts off with, which you can fix by building, you know, harbors on your fish province and your grain province. So, Al-Ula with the fish, and then Jerusalem, the double grain. So that's pretty much good. Um, coal, oil, and gas, pretty, dude, you're golden. <laughs> it's just heaven here. And the only issue is iron ore and lumber, which pretty much all of your neighbors have, so, you know, just go for everything in your path. Preferably, strike a deal with, um, with the Ottomans to split up Syria, or go for the easier path, which is Port Said, into, you know, the rest of Egypt. Because this interesting little ocean path gives you an opportunity to take the province and then park your forces onto the coastline to, uh, you know, eradicate any sort of invading armies. So yeah, um, I may be explaining it to people who already know this stuff, but, you know, there might be a new player. So I might as well go for it. And that's pretty much how I've gotten here in seven days. Yeah. Um, that's my update for this. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, as you know, I'll be posting videos shortly of interesting, interesting topics, of new things. And pretty much the, the what's it called, the Nuzlocke series was just me being relatively lazy, which I sort of gave up on myself. I might continue that. Maybe if I go on another vacation, I could continue it, continue it from that point, maybe. Um, but yeah, aside from that, the RPU is actually still a thing. <laughs> so if you're interested in role-playing or anything of that nature, feel free to contact me. You know, like, subscribe, anything, bro. Um, or sis, you know. So yeah, enjoy. Have a great day, guys. Peace.